Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are enjoying all my videos. I am back with another problem from lead code. Path in zigzag labeled binary tree. In an infinite binary tree where every node has two children, the nodes are labeled in row order. In the odd number of rows, that is first, third, fifth, the labeling is left to right. While in the even number rows, the labeling is right to left. So if we go look at the picture, right? So the number one, so that is at the row one, that's what uh, as per the definition, and the row two is two and three. So what we call is, is this as the number one is root node, right? So that is at level zero and two and three, the, those are level one, right? So this is, as per the definition, this the number one becomes the row one, two and three becomes number two and three, right? So that is, this is the second row it becomes, that is being labeled from right to left. So normally it is one and this, where it, where it is three, it should have been two, where the two is there, it should have been three. But as per the definition, it say it is saying right to left, right? So two is starting from here and three is going here. And next four, five, six, seven, and they are starting from eight from the right side. It's as opposed to the left side. So that is what the differentiation they are making, right? So basically alternate rows are being uh, <coughs> labeled from right to left, we can see, right? Given the label of the node in the tree, written the labels in the path from the root of the tree to the node with the label. So that means what, what here we are saying is, if you are given with any label in the tree, we are already know, we are already informed that this is an infinite binary tree, right? Infinite binary tree. So we are given with some label and we are required to give a path from that label back to the root. So for example, if label is 14, so 14 is right here, right? In the one, two, three, four, the fourth row as per the definition here, right? So fourth row, 14 is there. What is the 14th parent? Four. What is fourth parent? Three. What is three parent? One. So that is what the output that we need to give back. So for example, if it is 26, right? So we in this picture, there, there are no, uh, there is no like one, two, three, four, fifth row. But if there was fifth row, right? That would be, the 26 would be the the child of 10 so 26 10 6 2 1 so that will be the path to the root so this is what we need to give so let's think a bit right so if we were given uh, this kind of binary tree without without uh, this thing while the even number rows the labeling is right to left but imagine for a second if that constraint is not there just imagine for a second right so if it is one so you will have two sorry two and uh, three right and in this case there will be four five and six seven right and here 8, 9, 10, 11, right? 12, 13, 14, 15. Just to make a good representation, we could go like that, right? Yes, right, right, right. So this sounds better, right? So this sounds better because uh, now let's compare this to the original uh, picture that is shown on the left side, right? So if this is the case, what that means is if you have a node, the left tree, the left subtree or the left child will be double that of it and the right child will be double plus one. 
here also double that of his left child right child is double that of his plus one so basically if you have node value x that means left will be 2x and right will be 2x plus 1 so we are going to do or take this logic and uh, do a little bit processing on this logic so that we get the parent for the current given nodes for example so if if the value from these two things right so if node is x left is 2x and right is 2x plus 1 so from this what we could do is if node is x right so the parent could be x by 2 or x minus right x minus 1 by 2 right so like that we could say that right parent could be if node is x then parent could be any of them right depending on x so it could be x by 2 or x minus 1 by 2 so this is the logic that we are going to use to identify the parent but the thing is we need to apply this thing while the even number rows are labeled from right to left so that means we have to reverse it right so we have to reverse it so we got the parent but we have to reverse that so how we are going to do the reversing we are going to see in the code when we see so first the logic goes like this we calculate the number of levels that are required to parse so for example when there is a label 26 is given right uh, we need we need to understand that the 26 is occurring at the le level fifth right so that is what if you if you count the root node at level zero right the level becomes fourth but if you count level uh, one for the root node the will become five so normally we take root is at level zero so in this case 26 is at the level four right so that is the convention that i am going to follow for this code so the formula that we are going to use is the number of nodes at a given particular level is two power the level so since root is at zero right so 2 power 0 is 1 so level 0 we have one node and level 1 we have two nodes likewise level 4 we will have 16 nodes level 3 will have eight nodes so on right so that is what that is the logic that we are going to see for the number of nodes in a particular level and then try to identify the parent for the parent logic we already saw it right so this is the logic for the parent but what we have to remember is each level is reversed alternatively so whenever you find the parent we need to reverse that as well we are going to see how we are going to see it so finally when we are at this location right this logic holds will finally add the root to the output let's go look at the code it follows the same logic that we have same number of steps that we have here so let's go look at the code here so first things first we assign the level to zero we want to calculate the at which level the label is going to fall under so current count we are initialized to zero while the current count is less than label we are going to increment the level and calculate the power two power level and uh, get the count and add to the current count so we have level zero one level two two so how many nodes it became three nodes level th level two is uh, four nodes four plus three seven nodes so likewise it is going to go and calculate how many levels it is going to have in our uh, set space right so since we are incrementing the level as and when we want to go to the next level right as long as the current count is less than label we are incrementing the level so for that sake uh, decrement the level so that we are at the current correct level so initialize a list as answer um, this is what we are going to return so while level is greater than zero now what we are trying to do is we are trying to calculate the parent for a given label so first things first we have the current label right insert at zeroth position 
uh, in the answer list so this is the answer list insert at zeroth position so now uh, initialize the parent to minus one if the label is an even label then parent will be by two if the label is odd label we can uh, we convert we subtract one from that label and by two divided by two that will be the parents so this will be parent that we are saying but as we know the parents are reversed right right parents are reversed so for that we are going to do this processing right so as we know for a given level the nodes start from math power 2 right nodes in the previous level it starts from power 2 so here level 1 the node start node numbers are starting from 2 level 2 nodes are starting from level 4 node 3 levels are starting from node 8 so 2 power the level right so that is where it starts from so why so what we are going to do is that is the start node and what is the end what is the number of nodes that are that will be there equal to the math power of 2 power previous level right so while the node count in the previous level is greater than 0 what we are going to do is we are going to initialize this array and put that element into the array so what we are essentially saying is if you are at the level 3 right so we are going to initialize level 3 right so array will have how many spaces level 3 will be 8 right 2 power 3 is 8 spaces so this will be initialized to array of 8 spaces so and what will be the first element in that it will be 8 so it will start from 8 9 uh, 10 11 12 13 14 15 so these are the elements in level 3 right so these will be the elements in level 3 so that is this code is going to do but since we have this right what we want to get is a reverse of this right a reverse of this so that is array of reverse so before doing all this processing right when the start is equal to the parent node that we calculated right we are keeping the index of the parent right just the index of the parent so that after reversing whatever the value it comes at the index that will be our new parent so that is the logic here so you reverse and once the array is reversed whatever the parent index that you have obtained here whatever it is there that will be the label so that label we are going to insert into the zeroth position when we come back to the while loop so we are decrementing the level while level is greater than zero we we are going to perform this operation so finally we are inserting the at zeroth position the number one that is the root node finally we are giving the answer back hope this is uh, clarifying all your questions and doubts for this solution if you like the solution please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends please also click the bell icon so that all my future videos you will be getting as the notification to your emails or to your mobile devices as soon as I upload. Please stay tuned for my future videos. If you have a requirement or if you want to go undergo coaching or a career training, interview training, mock interview, one-on-one -on -one sessions, right? Please leave your email at in, in the comment section. I will get back to you. Please note that this will be a paid one-on-one -on -one solution. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I will be back very soon with a next video. Thank you.